welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my soft locks and i already washed detangled and blow dried my hair to start off this style so what you're going to need is a comb to part your hair of course a detangling comb in case your hair gets nappy and in case you haven't detangled an edge brush to do your edges you're going to need some shining jam i'm using the one with the yellow top but any of them really works but the red and yellow is the best I'm going to be using some edge booster for my edge control, but use any edge control that works for you. You're going to need a crochet needle. You're also going to need the hair, and I'm going to be using the Bobbi Boss New Locks in a 14 inch and 18 inch. I used a total of three packs of 14 inch and four packs of 18 inch, but only because I didn't get... I don't know it was something weird going on with the pack so i had to get four not three because i didn't have enough hair and then i'm using the luna Tress passion twist in 18 inch and i used three packs of that as well so the first thing you want to do is braid your hair it makes the process a lot faster it helps you finish it a lot quicker so definitely braid your hair before you start this style so i did all of my braids off camera and i'm going to be showing you guys how to part right now so i'm taking my shiny gem and i'm putting it on the top and bottom parts and i'm then going to take the comb that i'm parting my hair with and i'm going to comb that shiny gem up and down just to make sure these parts are super super straight super crisp all of that and if you see the rest of my parts in my head you can see that they're really really sharp so there's going to be four braids so i'm just kind of like looking at it eyeballing it and seeing how i want those to be sectioned and then i'm actually going to sharpen them up a little bit more and i'm going to start braiding So as you can see right now, I'm now going in with my shining gem on this little small part for this braid. And I'm taking my comb and my fingers and I'm just making sure that it's really, really straight because you don't want crooked parts, especially in the front on the top of your head. You do not want these parts to be crooked because it will be noticeable. If it's on the bottom, it's like, mm, it may not be that big of a deal, but on the top, you want them straight. So now I'm combing through the hair to make sure there's no tangles and now I am going to start braiding. When you're braiding, you don't want the braid to necessarily be loose because it's going to kind of mess it up when you have to attach the crochet lock and the passion twist hair is going to like kind of be like loose thin. So you really want to make sure these braids are kind of like tight at the root and not like a lot of space in between.
you're probably noticing that I'm not like braiding completely to the end because it's not really a big deal. You do want to braid most of your hair, but if you don't braid it like all the way, all the way to the end, it's really not that big of a deal. So that's why you don't really see me braiding all the way to the end. But yeah, this part is really, really simple. You're just braiding your hair like normal throughout your entire hair, making sure your parts are really straight. But once you finish this, you're in the home stretch. The parting is honestly the part that took me the longest. I literally did it for many, many hours because I was trying to part my hair myself, couldn't really see. So it's really best if you get someone else to do it, but it's totally fine if you can't because you will get it done. It just will take a little bit longer. But yeah, you do the same braiding steps around the whole head. And as you can see, I just finished all my braids and I'm super, super happy, super tired. And when I come back, you're going to see a different outfit because I continued my hair the next day. Okay, so it's the next day and I've done all of the locks off camera except the four braids on the right side and I'm going to show you guys how I actually did the locks on those four. So the first thing you want to do is extend the locks. So since I have four left, I'm going to be taking four of the 18 inch locks off the pack and then I'm going to take four of the 14 inch locks off the pack. So after I get off all of the locks that I'm going to be using, I'm then going to move on to the passion twist. And one passion twist actually is enough hair for two locks. So that's why I have two passion twists left for four locks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gently, very, very carefully separate the passion twist in half. Because you want to do this really, really slow because you do not want this to get tangled because no you will run out of here so just make sure you're doing it very very carefully separating it and then you're going to sit those to the side Thank you. 
So to connect my locks to make them 32 inches, I'm going to take the 18 inch and 14 inch lock and I'm going to start off by kind of separating the ends of the 14 inch lock to where I have two pieces at the end. And I'm then going to kind of expand the whole of the 18 inch lock at the top and I'm going to stick one of the pieces through that hole of the 14 inch lock to the 18 inch lock and tie a knot and then I'm going to double knot it like so and then I'm going to wrap one piece to the bottom and one piece to the top and then I'm going to rub my hands together I'm going to show you guys how I did this three more times, but it's really, really simple to connect the locks and just rub your hands together. If you need to, you can take some Gatsby Glue Free Spray to kind of make sure that it's really, really secure. But I didn't do that, but you can do that to make it more secure so it won't come loose and you won't see little pieces So once again, the steps are to separate the ends of the 14 inch lock, open up the hole of the 18 inch lock at the top, insert one of the ends of the 14 inch lock into the hole of the 18 inch lock, tie a knot, double knotted, wrap one piece to the top, one piece to the bottom and rub your hands together. Add gossipy glue if needed. Very simple. So now it's time to attach the locks to your braids. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of expand that loop at the top of the lock a little bit more just so that you can get your crochet needle through it. So you're going to push the crochet needle through the root of your braid and you're then going to attach the loop of the top of the crochet lock. You're going to close the crochet needle and pull it through. Once you've pulled it through, you may need to open up that hole a little bit more because what you're going to do is you're going to take your braid and you're going to put that through that hole at the top of the lock and you're going to pull it tight to make a knot. So you're going to have two pieces, the braid and then the lock. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do that again three more times. So again, you're going to open up that loop at the top of the lock. You're going to put your crochet needle through the root of your braid, put the loop of the lock on the crochet needle, close the crochet needle, pull it through. You're then going to open up that loop a little bit more, put your braid through the loop of that lock, and you're then going to pull the braid in the lock to create a tighter knot. And there you have it. So now that we've completed that, it's time to add the passion twist hair in and wrap. So you're going to put the crochet needle through the root again, and you're going to attach the passion twist hair that's already separated. Just attach it in the middle, pull it through, and then you're going to have a piece that is way shorter than the other piece, like extremely shorter. Like you're going to see how short of that piece it's going to be like, it's going to be really, really short. And then once you get it at that length, you're going to start wrapping and you want to wrap a few times around the root. So as you can see, I wrapped a right about five times around the root before I actually just started wrapping down. And when you wrap down, it doesn't necessarily have to be neat because these are supposed to be soft, distressed locks. But 
I don't know. I'm like a neat freak. So mine look pretty neat, but they're supposed to be messy and distressed. So you're just going to wrap the hair as normal until you get to the very, very bottom. And you're going to need some gossipy glue for this part. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your gossipy glue freeze spray. You're going to spray it on the hair. And then you're going to wrap the remaining of that little bit of hair you have left at the bottom around the gossipy glue freeze spray. Rub your hands together. Rub the hair together. Do all that. You can spray more gossipy glue freeze spray if you need to just to make sure it's really, really secure. But it should be sealed in and it should be tight and secure. Once again, I'm taking my crochet needle, putting it through the root. I'm attaching the passion twist hair in the middle of the crochet needle. I'm then going to pull it through with the crochet needle closed. I'm going to pull out one side of the passion twist hair and have one piece that is visibly shorter than the other piece. And I'm then going to start wrapping the passion twist hair around. I wrap it about five times around the root and then I just wrap it as normal down the rest of the hair. Again, at the end, you're going to take some gossipy glue free spray just to seal it. And then you're going to rub your hands together on the hair to seal it again. So I'm now going to do my edges and I'm just going in with my edge booster and I'm taking my edge brush and I'm just swooping my edges. So that's pretty much it with this style. You can style it however you want. I'm just gonna do a side part. It's a really, really simple and cute style that you can do at home. Really, really simple, really cute.
that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Tag me in all of the pics you take with this style if you follow my tutorial on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.